screens. What are screens? When we take a look at the RAMPI documentation, there's a lot of text here, but there are only two important things that you have to know. One is right here. The first is to display information to the user. Okay. And the second one is here. Allow the user to interact with the game. And to give you a better understanding what the screen is, I'm going to show you a part of my game. Okay, now we're here inside my game and as you can see, a screen is kind of like an interactable overlay. For example, the buttons down here, when I click on them, they, they do something. They're not just pictures anymore. Here I open the map and I can go to a different place. For example, here on the school, I click on the school. It changes the scene and I have a new mini map here. It's all made with screens. Now, before we start coding our screen, I would highly recommend that you make a new RPY file called My Screens, where you're gonna put all your screens in. Now, when we start our RANPI launcher and we click on All Script Files, it should also load our new created screen file. Okay, now in our newly created file My Screens, we're gonna go ahead and create a new screen. So, all we have to do is type screen space a name for our new screen. In my case, I'm gonna type my first screen, some brackets, a colon, and we hit enter. Now we have to learn new syntax for the screen. And I'm gonna type a couple that are commonly used. Here is one, text. What does it do? It displays text like hello world. Now when we launch our screen in our script file later on, it will display the text hello world. What else can a screen do? We can type add. What add does is it will add a picture. We're gonna type in the quotes here our image path like images image1.png. Then it will display this image when we launch our screen. Now, what else can we do? We can make an image button. And an image button is basically what it says. It is an image that functions as a button. So when we click on the image, it will do something like you saw at the bottom right corner of my game, those were, I think, image buttons. When you click on them, then the map opened and all of that. And the last thing that is very often used is an image map. And I'm gonna draw a little picture here so you will understand it better. Okay, so an image map is like my navigation mini map you saw earlier. We have a picture. And inside this picture, we can create different clickable areas, which can do different things. Like I could make this area, like when I click on it, it will open a map. When I click on this, it will do something totally different, but it's all in one picture. Okay, I hope I didn't confuse you too much. We're just gonna go ahead and start simple with a text. So we're gonna save our, our screen file here. And all it does is displays a text that says hello world. So now we're gonna go into our script file. And here I have a very short script that doesn't do much. It just says, let's make a screen and then return. So it's, that's basically it. And so how do we launch our new created screen? And there are two ways we can either type call screen and then the screen for the screen name, my first screen. Or we could type show screen, my first screen. So what's the difference? If we use call, then it's like the game completely stops and just it runs the screen and nothing else. And we have to do some sort of uh, closing statement for this screen so that the game can move on to the next thing. So if we use a show instead of a call, it will just kind of like run parallel to the visual novel that is running. Like if we have here some text and then there's the next scene, this, this screen will always be there, always be there until we type hide screen, my first screen. So that's kind of an explanation. But I believe the best way to show what we just did is just simply launch the game. Okay, so let's do that. I'm gonna click on start. Okay, first, first thing, let's make a screen. Okay, now if you click again, it should call our screen. Hello world, right here. Okay, so what's gonna happen if we click again? Nothing, why? Because we used call screen and now we're kinda trapped in this screen because we didn't 
like set a button to close the screen so that we can move back to our visual novel script and yeah so let's fix that so let's go ahead and just delete the call statement here so that we have our show here and gonna type here text one and down here gonna type text two and let's try this again saving game auto reload click start let's make a screen okay now we click again now it says whoa what happened now here it says hello world and down here it says text one so as you can see the screen loaded instantly but it also continued the visual novel so we can now click and proceed if we click again oh what happened now it says text two and it and it also um where is it here it also did the hide screen thing and also the scene 21 as you can see over here but i don't have a picture oops now it's closed but I, I think you now get the idea that if you use show then the visual novel you can just continue it and the, the screen will run along with it now if we want to display an image in a screen then all we have to do is type add then the path for the image in my case i named it image one dot jpeg let's see what it does okay let's make a screen here it is as you can see it's gonna show the screen and it also gonna display text one you see here text one and here is our image and as you can see our hello world our hello world vanished why because we put the image above text it's gonna write the text but we can't see it because we put the image over it if you want to reverse it you could do it like this see yeah now you can see the hello world again whoops here it is okay cool now we know how to display information so how do we make an interactable button for example like image map that we learned earlier we're gonna type image map colon then hit enter and then we're gonna tell rampy what image we want to use and we do that by typing ground ground and then the image path In my case image one dot jpeg okay i'm gonna delete all the other things i wrote here gonna save this go to my script remove all this and just oops yeah gonna call the screen uh my first screen let's see how it looks let's press start here is my image and basically nothing yet it's it's like the add thing we did earlier because we didn't tell rampy which part of the image we want to use to make clickable to do something so let's do that so back here in our my screen file we're gonna type hotspot and now we need some coordinates that we have to get somehow from the image and how are we gonna do this well it's very easy we have to go back in our game and now we're gonna hit the shift and the d button key i mean and then we have a couple of developer options here and the one thing we want to use is image location picker when we click here we're gonna get all the images that rampy has right now and somewhere in here is our image but the best way to find it is as you can see on the top here type to filter we're gonna type in image and <laughs> here it is so you're gonna type the image name that you want to do the location picker thing here so we're gonna click here now it's gonna show us our picture and as you can see at the bottom left corner you can see the coordinates but it's very easy um, to get an area that you want for example i want to have this rectangle here as a, a clickable thing i want to do something with it so i'm gonna hold left mouse button i'm gonna drag this rectangle over it and then i'm gonna release it and at the bottom left you can see rectangle copy to clipboard okay that's very cool now we're gonna go back here to our script and gonna delete those brackets here and then i'm gonna hit Control v and there i have the coordinates for my rectangle okay now we have the coordinates what can we do with it 
and there's a lot of things we can do but 99% of the time what you want to do is action and action means that when you click this hotspot with your mouse or if you're, if you're on an Android phone if you tap it with your finger then an action will occur and now there is a lot of things that we can do but let's just do one here and the first one I'm gonna show you is jump and what jump is, uh, what jump does is it will jump to a label so if we go back here to our script I, I created a new label called first date and we can use this we can, can copy here first date go to our screen action jump bracket then some quotes and in those quotes I'm gonna type the label name first date so what it will do is if we click on this hotspot it will jump to the label first date so I'm gonna save here and let's take a look okay now we're here in my game okay I'm here at the very bottom of my script that calls screen my first screen so when I click here it will jump to the label first date so it should display the message this is my first date okay I'm gonna click here this is my first date and when I click again I'm back here in my call screen if I click here again I'm back to this is my first date trapped in this loop forever nice so what else can we do with this image now here? We can do another area. So let's hit Shift D key and go to our image location picker. We're gonna type our image name, click on it. And then we're gonna select a different area that we want to do something with it. Let's take this rectangle here. I'm gonna draw a rectangle here. Rectangle copy to clipboard. I'm gonna go back here. Let me drag this over here. Yeah, gonna create a new hotspot. Hit Control V, and here is our new clickable area, and we're gonna call it. Uh, we're gonna type action, of course, and <clears throat> let's do something else. Let's let's not jump somewhere else. Let's do something different. Let's type show. What is show? Show displays another screen, so we can create, for example, here a new screen called my second screen, and. We can, like, we can put in just for a test here a, a text like, hey there. And when we copy the screen name here into our show, now what will happen is if I click on the, on the other rectangle, it will show this screen here. And what will it do? It will display this text here. So let's try it out. Okay, now we're back here in the game. And when I click here, this is my first date, okay, nothing new. Now what happens if I click here? Hey there, hey. Now there's this, this new screen here. And it's still there. Always there. Now the, the screen, as I said earlier, it's a show statement. So if we, if we show the screen, then it will always be there parallel with what we do. Now we put our other screen over it, but if I go here back to this screen, it's still there. It is. It will always be there until we tell the RainPy to not show it, to hide it. Now there are tons of other things that we can do instead of jump show. There is like, there is hide. There is set variable. There's tons of stuff. And if I would go over this, this would take like a couple of hours. So, but I want to keep this very basic. You can read all of this in the document it's very well written in my opinion and there's also the forum where you can ask questions but let's let's do something here that I think is kind of important is that if you use a comma you can combine two actions at one like here I'm gonna type show but I can also type here hide now let's let's take this screen here now what it does is it will perform those two actions at once. So if I click on this rectangle, it will show the screen, but also will hide my first screen. So I'm gonna, let's, let's see what it will do. So here, now if I click here, it should hide this one and gonna display only the screen, but since I'm trapped in my call statement from earlier, I can basically do nothing, so, okay. Now with everything that we've learned so far, we can pretty much rebuild the navigation 
menu that the mitigation minimap that I did show you earlier. But we have to change a couple of things. First, we're gonna go here and instead of a call, because we want to have the the minimap always at our screen, we're gonna type show screen, my first screen. And I don't have any images right now, so let's, let's, I'm just gonna do this with text. I'm gonna type here living room, kitchen, and gonna bathroom. And we're gonna give those different labels. And that's basically pretty much what I did with my game. Living room. Kitchen. Label. Bathroom. Okay, and now all we have to do is go back to our screen and for the first one, I'm gonna jump into our living room. I'm gonna copy this here, I'm gonna place it here. In our second rectangle, we're gonna jump to the kitchen. Instead of a show here, we're gonna tap jump because this is not a screen, this is a label. And now we're gonna need a, a third hotspot. So we're gonna go back here in our game, hit shift D key, go to image location picker, find our image. And we still have this rectangle here. I'm gonna drag this over here. Rectangle copy to clipboard. Nice. I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna type hotspot. The order doesn't really matter. Action, jump, what's left, living room, bathroom. Okay, I typed it wrong. It's a it's a capital J for those things here. Okay, cool. So let's see. I'm gonna click start. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna show you what I've wrote here so we can look what I'm doing. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. Living room. Yeah, we start right here. We have our show screen. Now we're right here. Okay, so let's 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 click here. At the top right. It's a living room, okay. I'm gonna click down here, I'm in the kitchen now. I click the bottom left, bathroom, okay. I'm gonna click here, living room, kitchen, living room, kitchen, bathroom, living room, kitchen. Yeah, pretty nice. That's basically it, but there's now one problem here. Because we're using a, wait, let me drag this a bit over here. Because we're using a show screen, now if I click here in an empty place, it will continue to the next part in the script. So how can we prevent this? There's, there are a couple of ways how we can prevent this, but here's a very easy fix for this. Now you might be saying, hey, this is easy, I'm just gonna type your call, because when I type call, then the game basically will not let me continue until I'm gonna close the screen, but it's not that easy. Now I have here a call, and if I click somewhere, oops, now why, why, can't, why does it close? Because we because the screen performed the action and when it's done with this action, then it's gonna close. Then it's like, okay, I'm done. Continue with the game. So how can we prevent this? So instead of typing call screen, I'm gonna go back to show screen. And instead I'm gonna type here after my, after the, the screen jumps to my living room, I'm gonna type here, renpy pause hard is true. What it does is that no matter what I do, if I end up here, it will not let me continue. But I can still click on my screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and save and let's take a look how it, how it will run. Let's go back to our main menu, start from the beginning. Okay, living room, yeah, okay, now I click. Now I'm at renpy.pause. If I click now here, nothing happens. But if I click, for example here, it will jump to my kitchen. If I click again, it will of course jump to bathroom because we didn't set the ramp by pause here, yeah. Can go back here to my living room. If I click, now I'm in ramp by pause. If I click again, you can hear me click. Nothing happens. This is one way to do it. So the last thing we still can do now is image button. So what's the difference? Why would I use an image button? Because 
when I use an image button, there's a different syntax for this, I don't know why, but you have to use idle instead of ground, but it's basically the same thing. But what you don't have to do when you use image button is get the hotspot because there is only one area, there's just this one picture that you can click. And it's basically like the image button, I have the image and then I'm gonna type action and then my thing I want to do, jump bathroom. Now, I don't want to have my buttons always in the top left corner, obviously, so how do I get them somewhere else? And it's not that hard. One way to get the image button to a different place is typing exaline and then a number between 0, 0.0 and 1.0. You know the, the x, x coordinate line from the coordinate system and there's also the, the Y line. And for example, if I type in here 0 0.5, then the image over here should be in the center now. So I'm gonna hit save here. The game will reload. And now you can see that we have here in the, bottom, in the top left corner, we have our image map. And here in the middle, we have our image button. So if I click here on this image button, it will always send me to the bathroom. It doesn't matter where I click it because it, it's it's functioning as only one button. And here I have those three buttons. Here I have only this one button. It's the same image. And if I go here and type Y align 0 0.5, it should be right in the center of my screen. Saving. Here it is. I'm gonna move this over here. Now it's right in the center. And with this, you can bring this up once again, you can basically get your picture wherever you want, 0 0.9, now it's a little bit more to the bottom, if I go 1.0, it's exactly at the bottom, as you can see, there's the text a little bit blocking, okay, that was not so good, yeah, there still is this text window over here, but you can see it's right there. Now you're saying, yeah, this is all fine and good, but a lot of work I have to type every time image button, image button, image button, I have always to do this stuff here. Is there not an easier way so I can get them all in a straight line? <laughs> yeah, of course there is. And that's called, there's either the H box or the V box. H for horizontal and V for vertical. So for example, if I have here an H box, wait, let me go on my cheat sheet. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna copy this here from my game right here. I can put here the the coordinates I want for all the things I have inside of my box. So let so I'm gonna go ahead here and put everything into the middle of the screen. And I'm gonna go ahead and delete this here. So I hope you will understand what this will do. If I have now a couple of image buttons here. They're all the same, doesn't matter. I'm, I'm gonna delete the image, but I'm not gonna need this right now. So what does it do? It will always try to align, no matter how many buttons I have here, that it's in the center. And spacing means that something new, that is the, the spacing between the images. Now I'm gonna have a one, two, three, four images that's, that are gonna be in the center of the screen. I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna pull this a bit down. Oh! Look at that, perfectly in the center. Now if I add a, a fifth one, it will probably not fit. Uh, that was not so good. Save it. Yeah, as you can see, but it's still in the center. And with this, it's pretty much easy to make an image gallery. There you don't have to always get the coordinates that, would, that you would have to do with the image map. And that's very easy if you have a lot of buttons that do a basically the same thing then it's don't don't use an image map if you have a lot of buttons that do the same thing that's basically it you're gonna have less work trust me i i used image maps for basically everything and exhausting so use image buttons when you can now i think this is a, a good point to stop the tutorial because it's just a basic tutorial where you have to learn basic stuff and Everything from here on is a little bit more specific. 
I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue with more tutorials. I'm not that good with my English. I'm gonna try to do my best here. I'm re-recording this like a thousand times. You have no idea how much I struggle with those tutorials. <laughs> but I hope you learned something and maybe I'm gonna do some sort of a more specific topic with, with screens because there's so much you can do with it that it just doesn't fit in like a short half an hour tutorial. Yeah, there's no way. There's so much you can do with this. But here is like an... I, I just want to give you an idea how it works. And yeah, just go into the documentation of Rampy. There is lots of stuff there. And you can also hit me up on Discord and ask me a question. And I'm going to try to help you as much as I can, what I want to say here. Okay, so yeah, thanks for watching. And I don't know when the next video you know i, I don't really have a, a schedule for my videos so they just come out when i when i find some time okay thank you